Yeah, it certainly feels like it is the peak of the heat wave. Now, right now, uh, me and the dogs are under some shade here in the patio. Uh, their little doggy doors open, so they can go into refrigerated air at any point during this forecast. So, you know, just uh, some good advice, though, is to just get into somewhere cool. You know, I know a lot of New Mexicans out there work outdoors. Um, and, uh, you know, on days like today, it's very challenging, but I want to start showing you some cooler scenes out there. It's always cooler by the lake. And right now you can see our Navajo sky cam is showing those really nice conditions out there with some cloud cover. Uh, in Rio Rancho, we have a few clouds moving in from the west. And actually, as I look toward the west, I can see that uh, some of those may be casting some shade in Albuquerque, which would be much needed because we already broke a heat record for this day earlier this afternoon. We reached 101 degrees, which beats the record, which was set not too long ago back in 2021. So you can really see that the heat is just bearing down on all parts of the state. Doesn't matter where you live. You're either in the 90s or you're in triple digits. Areas like Las Cruces at 108 degrees. 106 in places like Roswell, absolutely baking down there in places like Deming at 105. So yes, this is the peak of the heat wave and we do have the heat advisories, which are in place right now, uh, showing you those uh, places shadowed in uh, the orange. They're all under heat advisory. So the central and northern counties that you see right there, uh, the heat advisory expires at seven. But down in the southwest, that heat advisory will stay in effect until all the way uh, until Saturday morning. Uh, and right now we are seeing just a little bit of storm activity. Hopefully this brings relief to certain areas of New Mexico. I'm talking about you in eastern areas of the state where we have seen some strong storms in Quay County, but now they're moving out into Texas. You can see a little crop of thunderstorms in eastern Chavez County about to move into Lee County. So hopefully places like uh, Tatum and maybe even Hobbs will get some relief and get some rain. It's going to take a while for those uh, temperatures to cool down. There's a slight chance of some uh, early morning rain in the northwest area of the state. That is going to come with better chances across northern and central New Mexico for tomorrow afternoon. But still, we are looking at more heat alerts, especially across the southwest, with a red flag warning, by the way, uh, for tomorrow afternoon. Now, Saturday is going to be hot and dry, but not quite as hot as today. And as we head into Father's Day, uh, it's going to be breezy, dry, and hot. That gets us into Monday, where we could see some isolated showers bringing down that heat across the east. And as we start looking toward Tuesday, I'm expecting those temperatures to be on the rise once again. So compared to where you were today in Roswell, you reached 108. I'm predicting 100 degrees tomorrow because there is a chance of some showers, about a 20% chance, but still you're going to be pretty toasty for the next several days. 104 for Deming, so technically not as hot as today. 96 tomorrow for Silver City. I'm expecting the Northwest for tomorrow. Also to, um, well, enjoy some rain showers, which could start earlier in the day. So we're looking at around a 50% chance of those showers with cooler temperatures. It's going to be an active uh, afternoon, possibly around lunchtime through the early afternoon hours for the North uh, Central Mountains. For Santa Fe, we're looking at strong rain chances, so a high of only 81. Once those storms translate across the mountains and uh, to the northeastern area of the state, I'm predicting we're going to be seeing some 90s out there. And for the East Mountains, uh, looking at some 80s as well. Well, so what's it going to be for the South Valley? I still think we will be getting pretty toasty through about lunchtime. Then those clouds move in. So for Rio Rancho and Albuquerque, we're standing at a pretty good chance of some showers for tomorrow. At this moment, we're looking at about a 50 to 60 percent chance, and that should hopefully bring some relief to our area. You know, we have more content on social media. So here's what my colleague Brandon Richards is working on, and you can see it even now. Yeah. Thanks, Addie. So coming up on my digital platforms, I'm talking about the chances of rain, the relief from some of this heat, and maybe you're going to the mountains this weekend or to the lake. I'll have your weekend forecast for that. Again, join me on Facebook and Twitter.